In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Arc Trooper from The Clone Wars. Hi there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Boss Bounty video and welcome to my review of the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Arc Trooper on The Clone Wars card. Now I've got a few things to say about this figure, both from the quality of it and also from an accuracy point of view. But first of all, we're going to get into the card back because if you're just into card backs, then man, this card back is beautiful. Look at it. Look at the blue. It just pops really, really nicely. I love the sort of turquoise color sort of cloud effect that's going on behind the character himself. But there he is from the Clone Wars, the animated series, the Gendi Tartatoski uh, series, mini series that was on the Cartoon Network. And there he is looking pretty awesome. I love the image that they've chosen there which does have its issues with what you get with the figure, which we'll come on to in a minute. But the figure looks great in the bubble. He really does pop on that card. I mean, this is definitely my favorite from the six. I much prefer this one to the red one. Although the uh, the red figure originally VC 54 was a great figure. I love the blue accents on this figure. As I mentioned, we are gonna be taking a look at the figure in more detail and I do have my complaints about it. But first of all, let's have a look at the back of the card. He is VC 212 in the line. And again, some decent imagery at the top of the card there with the Vintage Collection logo, 50th anniversary logo with the timeline. And once again, the 50th anniversary logo on there, which, is a bit annoying for two reasons. One, because I don't know, I, I kind of got used to it, but it being there then moves this down to here because that would usually be up there. And you know, this being near the Kenner logo at the bottom, I'm not too sure about that, but um, all in all, a great looking car back. I mean, the colors just really, really do pop. So anyway, that's enough for the card back. Let's open the figure up and check him out. All right then, so here is the figure outside of the packaging, the blue Arc Trooper. Um, I believe he may even be called Arc Trooper Alpha. So somebody in the comments down below will have to confirm that for me. But you're probably wondering why he's holding this blaster or attempting to hold this blaster rather than the blaster pistols that are included in the packaging. And that is half the problem with this figure. Unfortunately, it's inaccurate to the source material in that the blue Arc Troopers tended to use these blaster rifles. And it was the Captain Fordo, the red Arc Trooper Captain, that use these and apparently these are his special like customized versions so they are you know supposed to be only for Captain Fordo and that's half the problem that we have the figure in that it is a repaint of the Red Arc Trooper which is a problem because in the show this particular character didn't use the uh, pistols therefore he didn't need the holsters and if you look at the picture on the packaging once again he doesn't have those holsters. They're sort of these more, they're more like ammo pouches on his belt. So because they've straight repainted him, that's the issue that we have. You will also notice the uh, shoddy paintwork on the helmet of my ARC Trooper. The stripe isn't in line with the fin on the helmet, which is a bit unfortunate. The red one that I had didn't have so much of a problem, but you can really see even like the mouth piece there, the paint is not aligned, which is, Really unfortunate. If I had two of these, I would have made sure that I would have opened the one with the better paint. But because I've only got the one for review, this is all I can do for you. But taking all that away from it, we do know that it's using the VC45 Clone Trooper body. Therefore, it does have plenty of articulation and he looks pretty good for an animated style clone. You've got to admit that the blue on him looks amazing. It really, really does pop. And it's great to finally have these figures. But as I say, with the inaccuracies of the figure and the shoddy paintwork on this particular helmet, it's left me a little bit disappointed. And also if we do take the helmet off, you will see that the uh, head sculpt underneath is exactly the same to the one that they use for Captain Fordo. Now, of course they are clone troopers, so they are all going to be the same, but essentially, you know, he's got his little goatee beard and I'm sure that the uh, this particular clone, clone trooper wasn't the same as Fordo when they take their helmets off. But okay, that's by the by, I will be displaying him with the helmet on anyway. Now, I'm sure lots of you have got these blasters in your supplies from various figures over the years, especially the ones where you got the sort of um, little locker room of extra weapons. That's probably where I got that one from. But the problem is it doesn't really fit in this figure's hands because this figure is designed to hold these 
which have a completely different uh, stock on them and they're a little bit thicker and also the hands are designed with trigger fingers so it doesn't really fit for him to hold this one in both hands sorry about the focus there but so you know there's a lot wrong with this figure but at the moment i'm just quite pleased that we have a blue phase one arc trooper to go along with captain fordo because you know without the problem with the helmet there if it is a better painted helmet this figure would look absolutely awesome i love the soft goods karma of course that is perfect so there you go have another good look at the figure i say there's the inaccurate hol holsters that's a bit of a problem really i know some customizers will probably you know chop those off and maybe put something else else on there for the pouches but it's a bit of a shame really but as we know of all these 50th anniversary figures they tend to be uh, repaints for the uh, walmart exclusives so that's a bit of a shame but as i say taking all that away as i said it is still good to have the blue arc trooper in the ranks and i've ordered a bunch of these i'm hoping the paint job will be better on my other ones because i do want to open maybe three four five of these to go with captain fordo and then hopefully get my hands on one of those uh, tiger shark gunships which are going for extortionate prices on the secondary market so if anyone wants to sell me one of those please get in touch there you go then guys that is the blue arc trooper from the clone wars in the vintage collection thank you so much for watching thank you to my patreons and members as per usual your support is greatly appreciated drop a like down below if you've enjoyed the video and we shall see you on the next one.